bringing you exciting events and activities from China and around the world via an interactive multimedia platform. CRIEnglish.com, connecting China with the world. Kenny Chung is a businessman from Hong Kong. He not only sells wine, he teaches people about it too. Yeah. He's a very famous wine、uh, specialist,、uh, which is the second degree,、uh, second level of the street wine from Germany. Yeah, Kenny's one of the exhibitors at a European wine tasting event in Beijing. Here, European wine producers are giving out wine to taste, and it seems to be going down well. I think wine represents a culture, especially Western culture, which is about knowledge rather than alcohol. I'd like to discover more about this culture and history.、Uh, why is wine so popular here?、Uh, because many people、uh, think wine is a healthy drink. I think wine making has a long history. I want to taste more and learn more. Wine drinking is growing increasingly popular in China. New figures from London-based International Wine and Spirit Research Group show China imported more than 14 times more wine in 2010 than it did five years before. But this still accounts for less than three percent of the global market for imported wine. So it's obvious what winemakers at this event are getting excited about. Crisp white Riesling wine from Germany, and experts here believe it's wines like this which are going to help China grow into one of the world's largest wine markets. Michael Turner is a wine expert from Austria. He helped organise this event together with wine critic Susie Wu.、Um, behind this growth, I think, is a strong middle class, which is、uh, getting into the situation of suddenly buying a car, buying a fridge, and all those things. They are opening up their whole lifestyles to more modern living. And、uh, this wine is a big part of that, and wine is a part of social status for those people. So they consume; they want to have more Western products, they want to eat more Western food, and wine is a big, big role of this. Over the next five years, the International Wine and Spirit Group expects wine consumption in China to double. If this is the case, you can expect more foreign winemakers to try and tap into this very tasty market.